Hello and welcome back to how to use a Weber. This is class three of a seven part tutorial and my name is Terry Bork. I'm a divorced mom of two amazing teenagers and I became involved in social media marketing because an income cap was placed on me by corporate America and the only way for me to provide for my family and be do and have everything I wanted was to forge my own path. So that's exactly what I'm doing. On this tutorial of A. Weber, um, we actually talked about um, why you would want to have an, over, um, you know, an email autoresponder series, and we actually set up your account. On our second class, we created a single opt-in confirmation email. On this class, we will create a double opt-in email, and we'll create a follow-up message. Next, we'll talk about broadcast messages, create a web form, and finally show you how you can become an affiliate over at AWeber and make additional income money, uh, an, an additional income stream for yourself. So let's head back over to our AWeber where we can create our double opt-in message and our follow-up message. Okay, so here we are, and this is where we last left off over on AWeber, where we had the ability to either make a single opt-in or a double opt-in over on our page. And you know, a lot of times I hear, well, what's the difference and, and why would I want to do that? Well, let me tell you the difference between a single opt-in and a double opt-in. Um, a lead, when they want your information, will click on your link. And if they're a single opt-in, they just enter their name and email address and they'll start receiving your information. A double opt-in means that they need to verify their information before they can proceed. And it's a preference, and I use both, depending upon what my offer is about. If you're selecting the single opt-in, you'll turn this green button over to red, so bring it over to the off position. You'll get asked if that's what you want to do. You'll collect yes, and you'll turn it to off. Okay, if you want to leave it as the double opt-in, then you'll switch it back over to on, and it'll be green. Okay, so just keep in mind the difference between a single opt-in and a double opt-in. If they, if they double opt-in, you may not get as high a number of clicks because people sometimes forget that they opted into something. They'll go to their email. They don't know what it's about, and they'll actually delete your email. However, if they do opt into your list, you'll have um, less likely to get spam complaints, and you'll actually um, keep people on your list longer, and you'll actually be able to market to them very, very successfully. So many people purchase from their double opt-in uh, links, okay? So let's create the confirmation message. Um, in our confirmation message, well, it has three parts, the um, subject, the introduction, and our signature. In our subject, we'll just click on subject right here. Um, we get to use the pre-approved format or we select a new one. Now what I like to do is I do like the pre-approved subjects, but I like to come down and do the first name fix. And the reason why is because I like to personalize everything with my, with my contact. Um, I think it's very professional to use first name fix. A lot of times when people opt into something, they type their name in all caps or all lowercase, and first name fix just takes that first name, puts the first letter capital, leaves the, less, the rest of the name as small. And again, you want to come off as not being sloppy. You want to come off as a professional and really um, you know, provide value to, to whoever it is you're talking to. So I like this one. And then I come down to my edit introduction, and this is fine what they say. I can also personalize this if I want to. I simply need to come up here, put my cursor where I want, and insert the field that I want to do. And again, I use the first name fix. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It went and I put it down below. Don't know why that happened. Let me get rid of everything on the top. Um, and I'm good to go right there. Okay, so first name fix. Um, and then I like to put a comma. Okay, I received your information, great. Okay, and again, here's where you'll see that they actually see the name of my list. So again, it's, it's you know, you wanna have something nice there. And finally, I get to edit my signature. Um, so I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna put my name in here. Um, I do put a contact phone number. I want people to be able to reach me during my normal business hours. Um, so go ahead and put your contact information there. And I put my website. Okay, so there I have all my information, it's all entered, and then I'm going to hit save my list settings, and I'm good to go, I've created my double opt-in page. Okay, now I'm going to go, and I'm going over to make my follow-up message now. So I'm going to come up here, follow-up messages, click on that, and I'm going to add a message. 
when I do that, um, don't be worried about anything that you see on this page. We're going to go through it piece by piece. Um, we're going to insert our subject right here. Again, I personalize my screen and I click my first name fix. And, oops, I want to get rid of this information in front of it. And I'm going to put whatever, your um, free um, ebook. In a comma. Okay, so I'm just telling them that I'm sending them their free ebook. Um, spelling counts, so make sure you spell correctly. Um, is attached. Uh, it is attached. Oh, okay, now the HTML section that's next. Um, I work in here if I'm going to be putting in photographs or banners or something like that. Um, you do not need to know HTML code because what you're going to do is come on down here to your plain text editor which is at the bottom and you're going to post in, paste in whatever it is that you created. So you can type actually right in the plain text message or I like to type in notepad. I can check my spelling and then copy and paste it right in here. You don't want to copy and paste from Word if you because that enters in its own HTML code. You can create in Word, post that into notepad and then post notepad in here however you'd like to do it. Just do not post directly from Word into your um, plain text message here. So I'm going to personalize this one more time. Um, personalize, pick my first name, fix, put my comma, and come down. And I'm going to go into my notepad. I have my thing all ready to go. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it right in here. Now you'll see that my text runs into this blue area. Okay, the blue area means it's going to go off the page of the email that I send to somebody. So not a problem. I'm going to highlight everything and click on wrap long line. And what that does, it brings everything to the left of this blue mark right here. Okay, so I post whatever it is that I wanted to say. I thank them for um, opting in. I, I let them know that their time is valuable to me and I'll let them know I'm only gonna send stuff that relates to what their interests are. Um, I put my phone number here again. And then my PS, you know, the PS is a very, very vital part of your communication and it's usually where your action happens. So um, PS is very good to put on all your emails. And then you're gonna attach your file from wherever you have that housed. Okay, and your interval um, is going to be sent immediately, either when they enter their information on a single opt-in or if they're a double opt-in once they double opt-in. Okay, track clicks. What that means is that you'll be able to see who actually goes out to your location, to your file that you attached and opens it up. Okay, so I am going to save my message. And as soon as that is all said and done, it'll come back up and then we'll go over and we'll go over to the top of the next page. Okay, so now you'll see it brings us right back here to our message was saved and you'll see it right here on our follow-up messages. It'll tell me message one, it's sent immediately, it's my name, and then um, it says test. I recommend um, you click on the test and what that'll do is it'll send you the email that is your people have opted into so you can confirm that it is linked correctly everything says what it's supposed to say and everything is working spam you want to make sure that your spam is below a five if it's really spammy people get upset with you and they will opt out of your list and there you go you've actually created your follow-up message for your aweber account in the next class we're going to talk about your broadcast message and create your web uh, form and your affiliate link Thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial. If you have any questions, give me a call, 813-863-1452. Um, and if you found this helpful, please share it with a friend. My name is Terry Bork, and I'll see you on the next video. Make it a great day.